Hi, so this week I'm opening up an old sky box to see what goodies are inside. So this is my old sky box which I no longer need as I've just upgraded to a sky Q box and I believe there's a few things in there that we can get out. So we just need to get a screwdriver out. So I'll get my iFixit kit and a large Phillips head screw and then I'll just remove these screws on the back. And then I'll just give it a little bit of a wiggle. It's the first time I've tried to open a sky box before. So I'll tip it onto its back and I think these side panels come off. So I just need to get a little bit of a lipper to lift up the side bit. And then I don't want to do too much damage to it. You could just snap them off, but I'm trying not to. And then this side, as you can see, slides out a lot easier. So you can slide out without any issue. So then there's a couple of screws underneath, which I need a slightly longer screw. And then we'll release this latch on the top and then the metal body slides out of the plastic. Just give it a little bit of a wiggle. Shouldn't be anything else attached to it. And then we've got into the main unit. So this looks like some kind of a Wi-Fi chip or something. I'm not quite sure what it is. So all these tabs on the side just need bending out. And then there's a ribbon cable on the front, which you just need to use a lipper to release. It's in there quite tight. And then there's another one on the top, which we just need to remove from this connection here. And then the top cable lifts away. And then there we've got the internals. So there's a good fan on the side. There's a heat sink in there. There's a good few things that we can try and remove. So the first thing we'll do is take out the fan. So it's just simple two screws on the side. And then we just be able to disconnect that. So that could be used in some electronic projects. We'll disconnect the hard disk drive connection here. And then I take some screws out and then I realise that it's still not releasing. So there's some washers on the back here that just need to be released. And there's two screws at the end on this VGA port which need to come off as well. And then we can gently wriggle out the main motherboard. Which has got a few wires connected so we just get some snips. And cut the cable ties to be able to release it. And now we're underneath to the main parts where the hard drive is. So again, there's a couple of metal tabs that need bending out. So we just give that a bit of a wiggle. So it's still not getting released. So there must be something else in there. So one side's released, the other side's not. We just remove that cable. And then if we have a look on the front, and then again, we get the metal tabs, just bend them out. This front facing needs to be removed. So you can gently remove that without breaking it. And then there's a screw on the side. We just release these two. And then as you can see, the hard disk drive comes out. So we've got a nice 500 gig hard disk drive, which will need to be put into an enclosure. And then you can plug it into a PC and use some software to delete it and use it as an external hard drive. So this is the main part of the skybox that we're really looking for. Nice power lead and SATA cable that we can reuse as well. So we have a look in here. So there's a few parts that you might be able to salvage. A load of buttons on the front. Lots of different ports on the side. There's a heat sink on the top there. We just need to push down on this metal bracket here, which releases it. So we just need to get a bit of a lipper underneath and then prise it up and it will bounce out. And we've got a decent sized heat sink that we can use on other things. One word of caution is just be wary of the other board that's still in this guy box as this has got a lot of capacitors which store a lot of electricity and this will seriously hurt you if you touch them. So always stay away from the other board that's in there. A few more little tactile buttons on the top. So there is plenty of things that we can strip out of this. So hopefully this was helpful. Thanks very much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe.